So you guys maybe have seen our video on YouTube from about a week ago of our HP 650 GMC Denali. That was a short wheelbase. That was the um, that was not the XL version. Um, and that particular vehicle did zero to sixty in four and a half seconds. I actually thought when I drove the thing, I'm like, this is crazy. It it squats the back tires, kind of lifts the front tires off the ground enough to where you can feel the front tires spin and was just crazy acceleration. Um, but then when I watch the video, I'm like, nah, but it's got a stock exhaust, it's kind of quiet. It doesn't look all that exciting. So I'm arguing with my video guy and telling him, look, I think we need to reshoot the video. And he's like, no, it's pretty good. So we put it on YouTube and then like, I don't know, four days later, it's got 200,000 views. So we've got basically the same GMC Yukon Denali XL. So this is the longer wheelbase. It's got the full third row seat and uh, with the cargo space behind it. So uh, I'm very familiar with these vehicles. We've got five kids, we've got four dogs. We own two GMC Denali's, the big ones like this one. So if you want something that hauls a lot of stuff, people, dogs, whatever you want to put in the back, these are pretty darn handy. And uh, to have something that also has got 650 horsepower is kind of the best of both worlds. So I don't know if it'll cut a 4.5 seconds zero to 60, but I think it should be close to that, even though this thing's probably close to 6,000 pounds. So let's jump in it and go see what it'll do. All right, sports fans, here we go. HPE 650 supercharged 2015 GMC Denali XL, the big boy. We got our handy drift box, race logic V box, GPS data acquisition system firing up here. Here, a little bit of blower wine there. We'll We got satellites. We're going to switch into from automatic four wheel drive just into four wheel drive so we don't spin the tires. This is going to spin the front tires a little bit. And we are going to turn off the traction control button, which is right here, along with the Stabila track. So we've got full power. All right. And we're just going to just. Nice little blower sound there. She's going in drive. Got my foot in the brake. I'm going to brake boost it a little bit. Yes. Oh, yeah. Strong. It's like 6,000 pounds. About 110 mile an hour. And about the same as the other GMC did. Which is ridiculous. To have something this big that'll run 110 miles per hour and a quarter mile is crazy. Now, I don't think it launched in first gear that time. I think it launched in second. Let me double check to see the zero. Zero to 60 was a 4.7. I think we can do better than that. Zero to 100 was 12.4. Uh, what this thing run the quarter mile in? 13.4 seconds. 13.4 110. Let's see if we get it to go a little quicker. All right, here we go, run number two. Consistent two back to back runs, zero to 60 in 4.7 seconds out of a brand new full size seven passenger with room for luggage. I, I just don't know. There's, I can't, there, I can't think of anything else out there that's even remotely close. I mean, you've got 
you've got the GL63 AMG, um, which doesn't have nearly the, the, the size of the space. I want to say it runs kind of in the ballpark, um, but it doesn't have the same kind of space that this thing does. The single tow 7,000 pounds, um, and this is a lot less money than GL63, so pretty impressive for what it is. Um, we've got a 550 horsepower Escalade uh, that Mrs. Hennessy uses to haul the kids and the dogs with, but it's a short wheelbase, and she keeps telling me she thinks she wants the bigger the bigger one. I think we maybe we might go from the Escalade to the GMC. This thing's pretty sweet. All right, so as my old buddy Jay Leno would always would say it from time to time, we'll do a burnout. Let's see. Got the track control off, two-wheel drive, and away we go. <laughs> smell of tire smoke in the morning. Yeah. 